when we started out bringing Gringotts back to life, they asked me, could we build a dragon? Oh, and of course, I say, yeah, because you would. In the movie itself, we didn't have a full-size sculpt ever produced of the dragon. So the wingspan's going to be 64 feet, just over. The head alone will be about seven foot. This we'll use to get the form right, get the shape right, and then we'll be blowing it up to full size. Because of the size of the wings and every single piece had to go together like a jigsaw, it was a big old project, one of the most taxing things we've done. We couldn't even turn the wing over in the workshop, and it was that difficult, not knowing that each bit would fit together. We then transported it to a full size sound stage just to put it together once to make sure that all the measurements were correct. Painting started with a white base, um, but we had to get some injuries uh, colours into the uh, dragon, and we also wanted to make it look a little bit distressed. Logistically, moving the dragon, you cannot believe how awkward that was. The wings were sort of 22 feet long, 20 feet in depth. We even had a temporary tarmac road laid for us just to get us in. something that we knew we could do. For me, it just made me smile. And I was really pleased that they asked us to do it. It's not every day you build a dragon. When we walk around the tour, we're so proud of being involved with Harry Potter. And I've got to say, that is the pinnacle for all of us to see that dragon hanging in that foyer. It's the biggest, <laughs> most amazing sculpture I've ever done. To see someone coming in and looking at something you've produced and you've worked on for all these months. To be honest with you, it doesn't get any better than that.